In today's video, two teams of three are gonna be competing to see who can make the best pair of sneakers, but there's no communicating allowed between teammates. What were these guys going for? I will be creating the foundation of the two pairs of shoes before sending it off to the two teams. Each person is allowed to work on their team's shoes for one hour before they pass it on to their teammate. At the end of the video, my community and I will decide who is the winner. So I am doing the first hour for both teams. I gotta get the foundation right for these teams. With my one hour with the sneakers, I decided to spend most of my time masking them up so that the teams could use their time for creative decisions like colors and designs. But with my little bit of time remaining, I decided to paint the Nike swooshes black on both pairs of shoes to give it my own personal touch. So this is the foundation of what the two teams are gonna be working with, a masked up shoe with a nice black swoosh. I'm really curious to see how these two teams customize the shoes. And bam. So this is what I'm starting off with. Ooh, I like it. Okay, super simple kit, I love it. Honestly, big Lakers fan, so I might go with the Lakers colorway. I just want the other guys to worry about the details, so I wanna get this shoe all covered up in paint and I want it to be a solid colors. I'm gonna let Mitchell and Zach decide on the design. We got a neutral black, but the cool thing is I can make this really pop. So Chris is after me here, and I gotta think about how Chris customized. I want to compliment him and not hurt him. I think my job is just to fill out two color tones on this shoe that I think would work the best and make it as clean as possible for both shoes. So I set the basic foundation. Oh, Brady, you're gonna yell at me. <laughs> Timer starts now. All right, James, you gonna join me? I mean, do you want, yes, do you want yes, the pressure? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I want to James to join me. I'm gonna start the timer. Okay, all right, paint. Right off the bat, we got yellow. I see this bright yellow paint. I kind of like the purple right the here. The purple is I kind of like fire. this purple, it's very vibrant. This looks like a Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce or something, dude. <laughs> Can't waste any more of my time. I gotta get straight into it. All right, boys, here we go, first stroke. Whoa. I'm gonna do my Air Forces based off of Kobe 6 Grinches. I think that's gonna be fire. Chris is very smart. He'll look at the shoes and know that it's supposed to be Kobe 6 Grinches. I'm just gonna take out all the reds. The red is just the laces. Oh my God, I just noticed that. Oh, wow. I'm gonna leave the, the sole white just because it will add a lot of cool textures and it's hard to like do the two-tone and all that stuff when it's already masked. So I'm gonna paint the whole shoe this color first. You thought one of the swooshes was red, didn't you? Yeah. I know, but what happened? With the oh, Jeff. Are you joking? Jeff. See, I'm distracted. Sorry, I'm not gonna talk. I mean, I'm gonna get myself some more coffee. I'm gonna let you do your See, thing. See, me for and a James, bit. when we kick it, we talk. You know what, Chris? I'm sorry, bro. Can't even do it right. It's gonna look sick. I hope so. I'm really curious where Zach's gonna take it, though. Tim decided to make the base color for his shoe, Lakers Purple. That's his favorite NBA team. And he focused on using his time to just make it the best base coat possible instead of trying to do too much. First shoe, gonna let that dry and copy and paste. Whoa, the copy paste. Copy okay. paste, easy. Jeff decided to use two coats of the Joker green on the back of his shoe to give it the gradient effect that the actual Kobe Grinch shoe has. And I honestly think he nailed it to perfection. 10, All right, I just finished nine, the shoe. Oh, I need to touch it. Eight, come on, come on. seven, six, come on. five, whoa, whoa, four, whoa, what was that? three, two, one. Oh, hand, okay. I did as much as I could without doing too much. This is a W. I okay. feel like you have set a very good foundation for your teammates, yes. but hopefully they can follow your vision. Facts. How much time do we got left? You have six minutes left. So you can finish early. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, a little yellow. You're just suggesting. Just a very light suggestion. But I think other than that, I mean, the boys gotta leave me with purple. So you have four minutes. Do you wanna call time or do you wanna roll? Timmy I D. think we're done. All right. All I see is purple. After one hour with Tim, these are how the shoes looked. Okay. I think I see the vision already, man. I got an idea. I'm gonna change the color of the swoosh. And then after that, we'll see where it goes. Okay. I'm liking the vibe so far. I think he left me a bit of a trail. Pretty sure he's a Lakers fan as well. I'm loving the vision. Okay. Zach, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, and you're off. All righty. This is just straight yellow. Mauve, shell pink, Georgia peach, taupe, like baby shit. <laughs> Trust me, I'd know. <laughs> All right, timer starts now. Okay, here we go, we're going for that red. Once Chris picked up the shoe, he immediately could tell what Jeff was going for with the theme of the shoe. I'm getting Kobe Grinches. And decided to keep that vision of the Kobe Grinch Air Force One. He started by painting the swoosh red, but little did he know. So does the Kobe Grinch have a red swoosh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Something's red on there. Something's red Something on there, red. for sure. You thought one of the swooshes was red, didn't you? Yeah. Am I allowed to look at a phone for at a picture? Just Do you want just like a pair of Grinches? to look at? That would work. I can get you that, yeah. Oh, so it is black. F 
I'll be honest, I did know that. God damn it. <laughs> Joker Green is sick. I know, I felt like I need to do something with it, but. Oh, no. I think the shoe needs Joker Green. Okay, now we're cooking. Yeah, this is gonna pop. All right, here we go. No, that looks fire. Kind of looks like, was it Reptar? Kind of does, low key, or like a Buzz Lightyear Whoa. right now. Right now it kind of gives like Buzz Lightyear vibes too. Wait a minute. You could go in so many directions with this right now. That's what's cool about it. Before we finish the sneakers, a quick word from today's sponsor, DraftKings. Guys, it's October, so you already know what that means. Basketball is officially back, the wait is over, and I have teamed up with DraftKings to bring you guys an offer that you cannot believe. All new customers who place a $5 wager on the DraftKings Sportsbook will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Just from placing the wager. Guys, that is literally, literally, literally a 40 times multiplier on your $5 wager. That's literally insane. Watching a game while you're wagering on the DraftKings Sportsbook makes watching it so much more fun. And if you want to take advantage of this promotion, use my promo code JIDEL. There it is, it's up there. Now it's over here, now it's over here. Whoa, editing. New customers place a $5 wager on any game, $200 in bonus bets instantly with promo code JIDEL. Thank you to DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring this video and making all these videos possible. And guys, shout out to DraftKings for that crazy promotion. That is actually crazy. Okay, I wish I was a new customer. I'm jealous of you new customers. Now let's get back to sneaker making. I think the main thing is getting the color. It's kind of like a lighter color than the, the shoe. So I'm gonna go Joker green on top of it maybe? That's that green. That looks pretty cool. I'm going for it. I feel like it's more like dinosaur skin than snake skin. Yeah. I'm gonna call these the uh, Grimoto dragons. The Grimoto dragons. <laughs> <laughs> do a red swoosh on the right side here, on the outside, one on the inside here. So if you're walking, no matter what way you're facing, you'll be able to see both colors. Turn me up, red. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, so you've done every hole in this shoe. Are we going off hole? You know, I think I might leave that decision to uh, the macho. Because I don't think that's too much to like. To ask. Uh, so you have about 12 minutes left. You know, you've colored all the holes, you've added some of the scales, you've done the swooshes. What are you gonna do with your last 12 minutes? Oh man, I might try to mess with this green in the back. I'm gonna start on this little strap back there. Ooh, is that too dark though? Honestly, I kind of like it. I feel like it gives it some definition and some character. Damn, a team player too? Yeah, cause I don't know where he's gonna wanna take it. So let me just go ahead and take care of Catch this one. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Dude, you absolutely killed it. And this is what the shoes look like after I'm finished with them. Oh my. I cooked. You did cook. These look great. You could call it your time early if you want. I got like, what, five? You've, now you got like four. I like it, time. Good, all right, we'll call your time early. Yes, sir. Remember, the name is the Grimoto Dragon. The Grimoto Dragons. All right, we'll have to see how Macho finishes these shoes. I'm excited. Oh, whoa. Whenever I look at green, I just think of Kobe Grinches. I could see what they were trying to go for, but I don't know if I want to keep the same direction, though. What do you think of the craftsmanship from your teammates? I think they did a good job. Yeah, we're just going to stick with it. Maybe just add some, you know, little details here, especially like the tongue. I feel like the tongue is white, right? Yeah. So we got the Tim and Zach collab right here. I'm a little nervous. Oh, God. What, a red swoosh? What were these guys going for? I'm getting a little Hulk vibes. This is so tough. So what do you plan on doing with these boys? So I am gonna go Beetlejuice pattern. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna do white stripes throughout the shoe. Ooh. And then on this one, if I have enough time, I'm gonna do a snake around this. They're gonna be asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, if you are ready, I can start the timer. Ready, go. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go, your hour has started. I wonder what color this should be. Yeah, we might as well just match it. Oh, there we go, yeah. I might have to work on this first so I can see how it actually looks together because I was thinking about making it orange. Yeah, I think orange would be sick. Since Macho was the last person on his team, he decided to use his hour to paint the tongue green and focus on making some touch-ups, but, well... Fuck, oh, <laughs> no! Oh my God, I mess up again. Oh, man. I should clean this up for sure. Wait, what? No! Okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I will say, if you are gonna do touch-ups, this was the one that needed a bigger touch-up. But it's like the tip and the back, they just, the green went right on. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting a groove of this now. As the last person going on team two, Muchi decided to completely take the shoe in a whole new direction. He started off by taping up the shoes to create a striped pattern, and then he added the same striped pattern to his swoosh to give it this crazy Beetlejuice effect. So you've got eight minutes left, you're waiting for it to dry. What you could do at this time is unmask it and see if any mistakes need to be corrected. Very true. I feel like you low-key I need to wash your hands. You're self-destructive. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I feel bad. Macho has just been touching his shoe with his fingers that touch the orange and it's just causing a lot of problems. My first time actually painting in probably a year and I forget that how messy it is. Okay. Is the time still running? Time is still running. No! I just take this off now. Yeah, I mean, you can get a feel for the shoe. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Uh-huh. Wow. Dude, shout out to whoever masked this. They did a great job. Besides this, that has to dry up. I think it looks good. It came out decent. There's a, a few mistakes. But overall, pretty good. Like, in 100% fix the swoosh. I might be able to fix a few mistakes on the purple. One Very minute. good. One, one minute, minute remaining. I guess I'm just going to check one of these. Very, ooh. Nice. Literally perfect. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, your shoes are finished. Nice. The design's pretty cool. It really is like Beetlejuice. This is my team shoe now that it is finished. I think we're good off the shoe now. We'll just paint this black. All right, Macho, you are at a little over five minutes left. <sighs> I'm stressing now. We'll just go to the next one. Bro, you are at one and a half minutes. <laughs> oh man, your fingers are covered in paint. Oh no. What green is that? <laughs> oh no, that is not the right thing, bro. <laughs> no! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh. And your team is done. Let's go, These man. These look sick. Kind of fumbled in the end, but I'm really happy on how everything turned out, to be honest. Yeah. These are what the shoes look like after I finish them. I'm about to see the Ops shoe for the first time. Ooh. Off rip, these are sick. Sick. I know exactly what they're going for. They're going for the Grinches. I'm minus a point because that's not a real thing. I do like how they did the scales though. I think that's really cool. It's very clean. I also do like how this and this is a different color green than this. It like almost fades into a lighter. Shoot, I think they did a really good job, honestly. I still think we got the dub though. <laughs> hey, I like it. You went with the Grinch Tober. He did change your red to orange. The touch ups. Not so touching. <laughs> <laughs> he smudged up a bunch himself and then tried to fix it. My God, never give that man a brush again. Do you want to see the other team shoe? Yes, please. I'm, I'm not confident, I'll take that. What the f Never mind. There's no way we lost. I haven't picked yet. What? That sh looks like they were conflicted and just <laughs> ran out of time. I'm not even trying to be biased here. <laughs> if we don't win this, I'm calling Rick and you'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what the people say. Are you ready? I've been ready. Let's go, James. Let's see what we got. What the heck, bro? <laughs> what? The Buzz Lightyear Air Force Ones, bro. I mean, those are kind of fresh. Like, if you're like a Disney fan. Mitchell looks like he put a candy cane on it. <laughs> I think they're cool, but uh, I wouldn't rock them. Do you want to see the other team shoe? I have to, yeah, let me check them out. Ooh, they did like a Kobe Grinch. Yeah. That green is crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like ours is more creative, but like theirs, it looks more professionally done. Are you ready to see your team's shoes? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. What did you expect, though? What do you mean? Did you expect anything less than perfection? I mean, these are very clean. The line work, everything about them is very, very clean. Do you want to see the other teams? Yeah, let me see. Oh, those are clean too. Wait a minute. I know. I feel like both teams absolutely kind of killed it. Yeah, dude. They're all sick. That is fire. I love it. I think it's a nice twist. Reminds me of like a Halloween next Christmas. Are you ready? Yes. Wow, that is clean. I love how they did the, the stripes. Who do you think is gonna win? We lost, those are fire. Really? Uh, you know what's crazy? A lot of the other people think you guys won. No way, 
All right, we're gonna put up the poll tomorrow, so we'll see what the people say. All right, so both teams are done. We've got team one with the, you know, kind of orange Grinch, which still looks really sick. Miami Hurricanes vibes, looks really nice, really clean. A little messy in the back, a little messy on the laces, some smudge marks kind of all over, but the smudge marks low key are giving it some texture. I feel like in person, these are the cleaner shoes. And I really, really like the stripe Mitchell did on the swoosh, but I don't know if I'm feeling the stripe over the red swoosh on the inside of the shoe. I feel like it's a little much. All three people on this team went against each other instead of with each other. My vote is going for team one so the poll is up on instagram and <laughs> team one's shoe is winning 80 percent to 20 percent. so this is an absolute blowout and on twitter the green shoe is also winning by a nearly four to one ratio so we have our winner team one yeah team one Woo! thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video and if you guys enjoyed it make sure to click up here to see me customizing 100 sneakers